Hello, hi ladies, welcome to this video. This was spontaneous, I shall let you know I'm on. I was coming on and for those on YouTube, hello, welcome, say hello in the comments also and feel free to uh, participate when you're watching this video. I do these originally on Women Creating Healthy Lives. So you may be seeing it on another Facebook page or you may be seeing it on YouTube also. But welcome, come and join me on Facebook, Women Creating Healthy Lives, if you are not a member of that Facebook group yet. It's free book, free group <laughs> for women over 40, and that's where I hang out pretty much all the time. But I also have hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, um, or come to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. All right, because I do, I'm going to do some YouTube live also. I have done. I'm going to do more. So this topic. Let me just let people know I'm live. So I'm going to um, just let me post here. I am on live now. Hello for somebody. I see somebody's watching. Say hello. And if you're watching the replay, make sure to say hi. Hi, June. Um, especially if you don't see me. I uh, posted a couple posts in my group, Women Creating Healthy Lives, and got some such amazing feedback from women on um, <clears throat> post-menopause, prayer menopause, the things that you guys are dealing with. And um, I will be doing more trainings that are a little more specific, but I wanted to pop on today because for those who haven't, who are quite new to me and for everybody else, this is, I have six things right here. That if you're having a hard time losing weight in, in this part of life, um, whether it's perimenopause or post or wherever you are, if you are having a hard time losing weight, if you've tried many things, um, then I'm going to let you know six things that I see have seen over the years for sure that are reasons why. Okay, why <clears throat> you haven't and things you can do. I kind of labeled them as what things you need to consider. Now this is, I'm not going to say eat this food, eat that food, because it is, that could be part of it. So what I have is number one, which is, they're not really in order, is um, eating in a way that feeds and fuels your glands so that the hormones can be produced properly. Okay. So what I see when I work with women, when they come to me, 99.9% .9 are not eating right for this phase of life. You can say, I'm eating healthy. Oh my God, of course I am. I'm, I don't even need to talk to Diana. I know I'm eating right. If you get on a call with me or join one of my programs, I can probably bet that you're not, right? And that's the number one thing that I see. The number one thing. Sounds like I have a mouse up there in my roof. I actually just hear that. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, that's the number one thing. And don't get frustrated by hearing this. It is not hard. It's just that there's many healthy foods that now cause weight gain in this phase of life. And it's not just about, oh, I'll get rid of those foods and I'll be fine. It's about not eating enough of the foods that help to bring your body back into better balance, which means they are the exact foods that your, horm that your glands require to actually produce hormones properly. Now, in your 20s, 30s, and early 40s, your body processes foods differently, differently. So, in 20s, 30s, and 40s, you could eat whatever you're eating now, all those types of foods, probably lose weight if you wanted to, all of those things. But now, certain foods will go right to fat. And it doesn't mean that you have to get rid of all of those foods, it just could mean the way you're combining them, what time of day you're eating those foods, that could be the problem. I cannot stress it enough. Don't think you, oh, I know already that I'm eating the right way. No, I bet you're not. I'm pretty, pretty if you haven't, um, you know, and so we'll talk about this in the future too, but that just really know, really, really, really know that what I see the most is that people are not eating quite right. The morning foods, the way they do their morning is usually completely off and um, they're just not eating enough of the good foods, enough of the right foods. Now, one thing I just want to say a couple things that throw people off is morning for sure. Um, starting the day, getting up, having a coffee, rushing out of the house, or getting up, having a coffee, maybe having um, eggs on toast or avocado toast, getting up, having a coffee, uh, and then maybe having oatmeal with bananas and, and 
blueberries, all of these are not right. Uh, getting up, coffee, okay, we'll talk about that in the morning, that's okay. Getting up, having coffee, and then having a protein shake. Don't even get me started on a protein shake. <laughs> Which is usually powder and almond milk, or soy milk, or oat milk, okay? That, and then maybe having one of those energy bars or protein bar later. Mm -mm. That's not going to help you at all. That's not going to help you at all. It's great to have some good lean protein, yes. But if you're just having one of those protein shakes and considering that good for breakfast, nope. Well, it's not going to contribute to weight gain or more energy. It's just not. And it's not feeding, it's not feeding and fueling your glands. It's not. It's not giving them the nutrients they need at all. Our glands aren't asking for protein, guys. That's just one of the things. Yes, good amino acids and the combination of amino acids make up a complete program. Yeah, protein. <laughs> so yes, your body loves amino acids and you can get good amino acids, right, from foods because foods have amino acids. But uh, not that I'm against protein powder because I'm not. You just must combine it in us um, with other things, okay? So you know me and my green smoothies, right? So most often women have given up or stopped using the green smoothies too or say they can't stand their green smoothies. So smoothies or juices, of course, too. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so like the number one thing is, is not eating right for this phase of your life. Even if you truly believe you are, you're probably not. Could be food combining, could be the time of day you're eating something. Um, definitely a lot of food combining issues I notice right away. And once you switch those around, your whole body changes. Um, not eating enough of the right foods. That's a huge one. Think that they're fil think that they're totally fine, like convinced I'm eating right, and I see it all the time, and I'm like, that's where you're going wrong, right? Um, <clears throat> number two, not finding the right way to eat for you. This may sound like a repeat of number one. The thing is, is that that's why I don't talk about keto, paleo, vegetarian, or vegan in midlife. I don't give you a perfect diet because each woman is different. And the most important thing you can do is to find what's gonna work for you. So what might work for one person doesn't work for you. And that's why we have all these diets and stuff and people saying, <clears throat> do this, do this, do this. But then you go to try it, your friend may have gotten really good results, but then you try it and you're like, it doesn't work for me at all. Like I'm not, and so then you feel like something's wrong. You know, you may say, I've tried so many things. I've tried this, this, and this, and I've tried, I've tried everything, but nothing works, right? No, it just means you haven't found either the right way to eat for you, or there's other things getting in the way. And that's what we're going to talk about. It is not just eating. It is not just how you exercise. It is not just decreasing stress. It is not just the mindset. It is all of them, all of them in midlife. One thing just alone in midlife will not work, you guys. There, unless somebody is like really, the rest of their life is actually in alignment with what they should be doing during midlife anyways, right? So it's really about learning what works for you. And in all my programs, we go through processes. If you work with me long enough, if you just do something short, you know, you may not. But And remember, don't stop learning. Don't stop trying things. Never, ever give up on yourself. So what I see, you know, a lot is they're just not or they're following one size fits all diets, one size fits all workout programs because other people have gotten results and they want it. And then they get frustrated when you don't get the results. Number three, three is that you don't stick with something. And I hear this a lot. Um, I've tried this. I've tried that. It didn't work. Or I, how long did you try it? Then I ask them, oh, I tried it for six weeks or I tried it for two months. And I'm like, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> and then I'm on again, off again. I stop and I start. I'm all or nothing, right? So when you're in this midlife phase and even in postmenopause, so if you're in postmenopause and you still haven't lost the weight and figured that out, then still consider yourself in hormone imbalance, okay? An imbalance. So that means you still haven't found what works for you. And the most important, Sharon, hello guys, say hello when you're watching, comment below. Um, if you guys have any questions too, I can't stress it enough that um, it's really about learning what works for you. So learning, like I said, the very beginning, the foods, 
that help to nourish, feed and fuel your glands to produce the hormones. Um, the, the foods that feed every cell in your body, that your the actual nutrients your cells need to produce healthy cells, to boost your immune system, decrease, in, boost your energy, have more balanced energy throughout the day, right? Correct the insulin levels, balance your blood sugar levels, all of those. That's what we're talking about, the right foods. And most people don't have that right. I'm going to tell you that. So it's about that. It's about finding what works for you within that guideline, within those guidelines, right? And that's what I mean. It may be paleo, maybe keto, maybe vegetarian, maybe vegan. I don't have a name for how I eat. It's about listening, learning your body, listening to your body and adjusting as you go along. Okay, and that's what I do help you with um, when you work with me. And then most people don't stick with it long enough and adjust as because they'll say it's not working instead of saying what's not working, what's not feeling right. I need to just adjust these things. Number four, the fourth thing is stress. Is knowing maybe you're under a lot of stress or not realizing how big of a role stress plays in this weight gain and not being able to lose weight. You cannot lose weight if you're under consistent stress. You will gain weight continually if you're under consistent stress, right? So during this phase, I don't care if you're in your 20s and 30s and when you got stressed, you lost weight. It's probably not going to be that way now because your body is different inside, okay? And you may have stressed adrenal glands and so they can't produce any more hormones. So you're keeping your body in complete imbalance, out of whack when you're stressed like that. Until you set up little practices, tools, and techniques daily, <clears throat> which are easy, they don't even take long, and they feel amazing. Until you do that daily and you begin to bring your stress response down, then your body can come into better balance along with what you're eating, right? So that's number four. Number five, mindset. No, <clears throat> the last one's exercise. Mindset. I cannot stress that enough. Mindset. I'm somebody, when we work on emotional eating and stress eating, because that, right? But that's all up here. There's reasons why you do those things. There's reasons why you don't stay on track. There's reasons why you're on again, off again. There's reasons why you stress eat. There's reasons why you emotionally eat. There's reasons for all of that. There's reasons why you can't stick with something, why you don't try something, why you feel like giving up. Um, <clears throat> it's all the mindset, right? And so when you work on that, when that stuff, when someone can reflect it back and see the mindset stuff that's getting in the way for you to either believe in yourself and all of that, then you just keep yourself in patterns of repeating them over and over again, right? So we often use stories and excuses, right? I got a bad knee, so I can't exercise. Um, uh, my whole family, we've always had problems with weight, so I'll probably never be able to lose it. I eat when I'm stressed, you know, and I've had such a bad day. So of course I went home and I had this, or of course I went home and I had some wine. When I start with eating cookies, I can't just have one. That's what a lot of people think. I can't just have one. I need to eat and eat and eat, right? Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It all feels helpless. So all of these things that go on in our head, they're preventing, they're preventing you from really moving forward and getting results. But it's easier to stay in a rut than to try and get out of a rut. But that's what I help you with. Exercise is number six. Another thing that <clears throat> um, you can get wrong with this phase of life is the exercise because it needs to change. So believe me, I was a personal trainer. I was super fit and I started exercising in my 20s. I started at a gym at the age of 16. It was my second job. I was trained as a personal trainer because it was the first time a fitness center ever opened up in my city that I lived in, in Canada, Edmonton. There was no fitness centers before the year, that year, you guys, probably in the world. So I started as at the gym at 16, and then they trained me to train people on machines. So I have been into exercise for 40 years. <laughs> so believe me when I tell you, <laughs> That you can think you're doing all the right exercise, but then in midlife and not know, well, I can tell you, and I am able to tell you, 
if it's working or not and what you probably should do, right? I'm also a per trained personal trainer. But because of experience, I saw that myself in midlife, wow, I was doing all the things. I had been super fit and never had a weight problem before perimenopause. Then everything started to fall apart. That's the way it is. It just means change. It just means you need to change things, okay? That's why I do what I do. That's why I'm here. Oh my God, it's been a long journey for me to figure out the foods that work, to figure out the st that stress has such a huge play in it, and to really get set in um, a routine of doing these little stress things, and, and then the mindset plus the exercise. And it's really bringing it in, right? To go, oh, once you have that whole picture, and you find you have this little thing for yourself, right? Oh, okay, so these are the types of exercises for me. These are the types of stress reduction I can do every week. This is what I need to include more of these foods. Oh, I get it. Then you get it. So I'm doing something extra special coming up. It's a three-month transform program for people just like you. And I've never done a program that long. And I am so excited because this will be transformational. If you, and it's going to be Zoom also, which I've never done before. Well, years and years and years ago, before Facebook Lives, we're going to do Zoom also. So we're going to have Zoom groups where we visually see each other. You're on video, you're talking to me, I'm talking to you. We will figure this stuff out. In three months, you will know. You will know, and you have the time within that three months for us to try things for each person, because like I said, a little bit different for everybody. You will be trying things, feedback, what works, this doesn't work, what should I do now, how should I approach this, as we go along. Three months, transform. This is gonna be transformational, absolutely. If you're looking at me and going, yeah, but you know, I don't know, I'll just try to figure it out, then you can't, but I, you're going to be where you are now. <laughs> All I can say. All I can say. It's easy to watch free content and really listen and take notes and write down what I say. But it's integrating it into your life and integrating it into a life that's right for you. Plus also discovering, oh, my body doesn't like this way of eating or I need to do it this way. Um, all of these things, right? And that's what I'm going to help and guide you through and support you through and hold you accountable through the three-month process. It's going to start in February. I'm so excited about it. This is one of the, this is going to be one of the best things. Um, you can do it whether you're post-menopause, pre-menopause, perimenopause, whatever. If you haven't done any of my programs before, this is the one to do. If you have done just one or, one or two of my programs, you could do this one. If you know my stuff really, really well, you probably don't need to do this. And there'll be something else coming for those people. There's going to be a, a higher level one um, for the people who have done my programs many times. And this is the thing. It's because I used to do short programs. It was never enough time to fully get it. Now this three month one, you will have it integrated into your life. You will know what works for you. You will have results. You will have lost some weight. You will not gain any more weight if you continue the way that works for you. And one of the best things is you will get healthy. And I can't tell you how many women have come to me and said, oh my God, I saw my doctor and the re he's saying, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're doing amazing. Their test results from their doctors are amazing. Okay. The, all these things like, so whatever, like different people have different things, right? Blood pressure, iron levels, whatever, right? You will get healthier. This is about increasing, improving your health, which affects your energy levels, all of that, right? Because you're finally eating in a way that supports your body during this phase of life, and you're doing the other things, mindset, stress reduction, and exercise to support your body in this way, okay? So that's in the three-month program. Yes, Kate, you are going to be the one for my, uh, it's going to be a 60-day mastermind, again, something I haven't done. Because we really want to work on, um, this year I really want to work on watching women transform and guiding them on a journey where they, it's like I'm committed to myself, to my results and integrating it into your life. So often if you do something real fast and then the program ends, then you're like, oh my God, 
life happens and it gets ahead of you and then you'd kind of give up all those things you learned because you're like, I just can't keep up. Like I can't, I'm too confused still. I'm too confused, right? So when you go for longer in a program, you get really feel how it feels. Oh, now I'm really noticing the changes on my body. This feels really good. We work on your why too, right? Like in the three month, we work on all of that. It's like your motivation, inspiration, all of that. That comes from you inside. And we do work on that too, because it is the mindset part too, right? You'll notice the eating part's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. <laughs> the eating part will be <laughs> real easy. And then it's the rest of that. It's about, yeah, bringing it into your life, family, friends, outings. You know, now I know there's not so many weddings and holidays, but you know, there will be. You got to know how to navigate through that. Holiday dinners and stuff. <clears throat> really about simplifying. Like there's so much confusion out there that it seems like things are going to be so hard, but they don't have to be. It's just because you're picking information from all over the place instead of being focused on one direction, one, right? Really focusing on you, knowing the guidelines around the eating and all that and staying focused, adjusting as you go. And that's when you get the results, the fastest and the biggest results. So that is going to be my three month transform program. And then for those who have done many of my programs, we're going to go into a break the plateau um, mastermind where you're going to be taking it to the next level. So the next level you break the plateau mastermind, whether it's food, exercise, your body, weight, whatever mindset, it's breaking through limitations for you. All right. I'm so excited for these. This is new. I needed something to just really be like super excited about. Super excited because I know I have the tools, techniques, every information to transform lives. It's time. It's time that you guys start tra transforming your lives. I hate to see people suffering the way I hear you guys are because you don't have to. And note absolutely get checked out by your doctor I would never I'm never the type of person that is going to say it's only this it's only that you know there are reasons why you may have some extreme hormone problems I will let you know if I think that and tell you to go see somebody right I'm not saying I will be able to solve everything because there's some really serious hormone issues that need specialists right so I'm not saying I can handle those, but, but I can tell you what will help for sure is eating the right way, stress reduction, mindset, right? And moving your body that is in a way that's right for you. All of those things will contribute to better health. And then if you still have like some real hormone issue or, or illness or something, of course you need to go see a professional about that, right? But with anything, being healthier is the way to start. Absolutely. And that includes up here in your mindset. Do you guys have any questions? Anybody have any questions? You can have questions about food. You can have questions about exercise. You can have questions about whatever. I'm here for you. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can definitely um, post something below too. And if you're on YouTube, you can contact me, dianamoshan.com. That's my website. I have um, a couple free trainings up there. So you can sign up for those and end up on my waiting list. I mean, my email list where I definitely post about my programs, right? More information about my program programs. And make sure that you're part of Women Creating Healthy Lives, uh, my Facebook group. Otherwise, if there's no questions, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching the replay, I would love to know. Just say hello, watch replay, or post an emoji. And my three-month program is starting in February. I'm getting, um, I got so much of it written out already, but if you have questions and you want me to send you an audio and stuff, let me know, because I will, okay? Send me a message on Facebook, Diana Marchand, make sure to friend me, or post a comment in this group, and I will get a hold of you, because yeah, if you have questions, if you want to get on a call with me, because you're not sure if this is something that would be right for you, reach out to me, I will get on a free call with you, no obligation at all. I would never convince anybody. I don't want you in my group if I have to convince you. Like, that's just not gonna, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so much love to you guys. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye.